Hello everyone, hope we're all good. Big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited. And a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Tyson All, secure unit. This was a bad place and if anyone who's been here would like to put their thoughts and their feelings about this place in the comments, then please do. Because I've heard some horror stories about this from way back when. You know, even me, my cousin, Stephen Johnson, who sadly passed away. You know, he was here and he was subjected to you know, abuse. So, you know, that was obviously traumatising because he ended up in and out of institutions for most of his life and he died in an institution. You know, he took these to court back in the day. You've had a little bit of experience in Tyson Hall, haven't you? Yeah, because me, me and my brother got sucked off my mother just for not going to school, really. And uh, they, sent, they sent him first, they went to suck him first. And uh, he was in Tyson Hall. And then I landed there. When was this? 1981. But he'd been there since maybe a year before me. And uh, as soon as we got together, the legs was both. They kept him in the seg and he's on ruthless things to that kid they had that kid in a body belt with nothing on just cuffed so we can't move and going in a woman punching us underneath him and all that spitting on him doing not they done it to me they battered me as soon as landed they, they allowed me throw me in the bat and then fill one of them plastic uh, metal jugs up that like my auntie maggie used to have with the blue them now they full of ice Sneaked up, fucking turn it over my head. I thought I was going to have a seizure. Fuck off, jumped under the water, dead fast. And then started, and then I pissed the bed, and he woke up the old dorm up. I fucking said, You just pissed the bed. Shook me downstairs to, the, to this shell thing. I had to stand in a pair of band of bomb undies, and he started whacking me over the head every time he comes up past every 50, yeah, over the elbows with his keys. Fuck off, fuck off. And then I began to stick off the lads for pissing the bed, then some fighting all the time. So this made this and ends up I ends up would ends with our kids. How old was your dad? Me. Um twelve, thirteen. And did you see a lot of other things going on there? I seen blood on beds and that lad, it was heavy. But it was always the vulnerable kids they picked on, Bill. Do you know what I mean? Like Stephen was just an animal to be so they had them locked like in a cage, in a cage, sort of thing. But uh yeah, I've seen kids getting carried out of bed. So your experience in Tyson Hall was one of, like, it was traumatic? Very traumatic. And then when I went to Wooden, that was traumatic as well. Yeah. That was just... And then, ironically, I, my brother died there as a, it was a mental institution then. And which that was in 2022, wasn't it? Yeah, 20, last year. 2022? Was, wasn't it? Yeah. Was, it was, was it May? Was it May? March. March. The 19th of March, and he was born on the 19th of March. Yeah, so, so he was born on the 19th of March, Stephen, and he died on the 19th yeah, of March. Because he chose to die on that day, lads, yeah. because they've had control over him for 16 years. He's still a fuck, you know what I mean? I've had enough. He said to me, he kept saying, I've got to go first, said he. And all that shit. We've got his murder up there. We've got our own spaceships and all that shit. <laughs> she has a long up, lad, midnight sex for that stuff, you know what I mean? Was heavy. Thanks. Not midnight sex, but what's the other one? One flew over the cougar's nest. So subject, but you know, Stephen would like to get it out there in any way because he never ever did, but he did in the end to me. Nice one. I like me, mate. Dyson Hall Secure Unit, Gladstone Unit, as it was known, you know, was notorious back in the day. You know, it held kids from the age of 10 to 17 and they were. You know, there was kids in there who were shaving, you know, sentences for murder, arson, violent crimes. It was more of a um, school orientated postal. And it's got its history. It was run by Liverpool Social Services. You know, so probably the 80s, 90s, it was a fucking bad yard. And, you know, it was. Up to 2003, they had riots in here. It went nuts. Police.
Grealish were uh, called out. They were uncontrollable. It lasted no no longer than an hour. You know, with a few minor injuries reported by the staff, but yeah, wasn't a place to be. I believe a, a lot of dark things happened here. To a lot of young kids, young boys, who went on to become heroin addicts, junkies, recidivists in and out of prison most of their lives, suffering trauma, you know, in the memories of, of the traumatic events that they were subjected to here, you know that. That was known to be true. Okay, so this is formerly known as Tyson Hall. It's called New Whites now, but it's here in Fazakli of Brookfield Drive. So HMP all course is literally over the road from where Tyson Hall used to be. So over there you've got you know, where Tyson Hall used to be. And across the road, Old Coast Prison. So this area is just known for having you know, secure units and prisons where people are incarcerated. And... These are like hidden gems, these old buildings. Very rare now that you see them. You know, in this modern day and age. Everything has been flattened, so it's just nice to see some old style buildings like this. It doesn't look like it's been lived in for quite some time. And if it is, you know, I'm not there with all the Malcons, are they? It's an old camera there. So fucking from the 70s, that, isn't it? Yeah, so this place is now called a Bait and Show Group Transforming Lives. It's just up the air. And it's not just a shout, because 99% of the time, you know, people shout about changing lives and actually do fuck all. But anyway, there you go, a little bit about Dyson Hall. Once again, thanks for watching and take care.